What's going on, guys? We're going to make some cool stuff today. This last order I got, they ordered three things. They ordered a skull and crossbones Ohio quarter. They also ordered, if I can track it down, a homestead quarter arrowhead. That looks like this. They're gonna get that on a keychain. It's pretty cool. But the first thing we've gotta do is uh, heat these up, soften them up a little bit. So we're just gonna play with some fire. If y'all wouldn't mind tapping the screen, I sure would appreciate it. We just started on this live. So let's, let's get some likes on it. Let's get some likes going. Tap of that screen, tap a tap a tap a. Y'all feel free to check out my store. There's lots of cool stuff on there. I'll go ahead and pin that below. You can use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10% off anything you order. All kinds of cool stuff made out of coins. Mostly rings, but there's some other stuff. And that's what we're working on today. We're doing a little bit of other stuff. How's everybody doing today? Everybody having a good morning? We had a big storm last night, so it's actually really nice outside today. Is it legal? Absolutely. Yeah, if you've ever seen like a penny smashing machine at an amusement park, this is very similar to that. Get the old guitar out of the way. So what we've got here is a skull and crossbone die. And quarters in there. Try and get them as nice and lined up as we can. And just bring the sucker down. Well, we gotta make sure our valve is turned all the way there. That should help. There we go. So this is a 12 ton hydraulic press. Sorry, I don't have a great camera angle for this. But I promise the results are pretty cool. <laughs> so once you get it done, you'll be like, wow, that's pretty cool. A long way down. Here we go, here's some calls, uh, calls to action. Uh, tap the screen, follow me, go f subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a link for it on my profile. Visit my website, use the coupon code WELCOME, and uh, go get you something cool. Oh, do one more. That's pretty good. Howdy. There it is. We'll take a closer look at it after we finish this second one. good. 
Ooh. Pretty cool. This one didn't quite press all the way. I'm gonna press that one one more time. Zoom out a little bit so we can get some finer details. So you can get one of these on any of the uh, state quarters, all 50 states. Pretty cool little pirate coins. Let's take some steel wool here. And uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. If you haven't yet, go check out my website. It's linked on my profile. So lots of cool stuff. So make sure to go check that out. We've got 1,800 likes so far. That's pretty sweet. So what I'm doing here is just removing some of this fire scale from the higher points. We get some real nice detail to come through. Y'all hit that follow button, tap the screen. I know this isn't the usual TikTok vibe, but I appreciate you coming and spending some time with me while I make some things for orders. Gotta take my jacket off. It's hot down here. Here's a little side-by-side. -side. You see how we kind of get the lettering shiny, but the back is so, still dark. That's what we're looking for, kind of an aged coin look. I'm doing the front side's a little tricky because it's like three-dimensional. Rub on it a bit, spin it around a couple times, and we get most of the high points. Do that plane a little better. Before and after. Pretty cool. So where's everybody from today? Let's let's get a sound off on where everybody's from. Anybody from uh, Ohio? Got any people in Ohio watching? KY, is that, is that where they make that jelly? North Dakota. Uh, actually, at this point, you can't spend it anymore. So this, this coin has been altered to the point where it's it's no longer currency. It's more of a, a knick-knack, a souvenir of sorts. Got New York, Michigan. Well, guys, I can not only make these pirate coins in all 50 states, but I can also make quarters into rings for all 50 states. And I can make them in copper and 90% silver. So if anybody's interested in that, let me know. <laughs> we spit in it. Nice. Looking pretty cool. All right. 
right, so those are done. They only ordered one of these, but I'm going to send them an extra one just for kicks. And they also got this Arrowhead quarter keychain. I already had one finished, so we're going to set that aside for them. And then they have one more thing they ordered. This will be fun. I haven't made one of these in a while. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's not it's not a collectible coin, really. Like this isn't it's not an MS seventy quarter. It's it's just a regular quarter that I've stamped and kind of. duress toned with fire scale and then scraping it off so it's it's more of a, a knickknack you're not going to be wanting to to resell it what is the center punch so when i make a coin ring i have to punch the center out of the coin this one's from an american silver eagle but you can get this at, just by itself or as a keychain or as a pin you can put on your shirt. Uh, it's really up to you. It's just kind of an add-on option when you order a coin ring. Now we're gonna hop over here. And make a cowboy hat. For that we gotta find the right quarter. This one is going to be a 2022 quarter. We're going to be making it into a cowboy hat. Let's go. First thing we got to do is dome the center. It's kind of like where your head goes in the hat. Got a handy little jig here to do that. jig here. There we go. Nice 2022 quarter cowboy hat. What do you guys think of that? Is that pretty cool? Is that lame? I don't know. I think they're cool. Really gotta have something model it. So, I'll get Mr. Rock Lobster here to uh, model our hat for us. There we go. Let's go to Dapper, very handsome. And uh, that's all I had to work on. My work schedule is pretty short today. So if anybody wants to hop over to the website and order something and see it get made on this live, I welcome you to do so. I'll go ahead and pin it down here. And you can also use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10% off anything you order. And uh, if I see your order come in, we'll get to work on it. If anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. I do appreciate you spending a little time with me. Thank you very much.
Happy little rock lobster. How big is the cowboy? Huh? There's a little, a little country rocking cowboy lobster here. It's a good size. <laughs> It fits on Legoman pretty well. But yeah, y'all go check out the website. It's linked on my profile. Just tap my logo right here. Go bop around. Tell me what you think. Uh, if you see something you like and you want to watch it get made, go ahead and place an order and come back here. Let me know. We'll get to work on it for you. I make a bunch of cool stuff out of coins. So, go check it out. And if you haven't yet, tap that follow button. You know, if you, if you do that, your name will show up right here. And everybody will see it. And I'll do my best to uh, pronounce it. Uh, 1947 quarters? I should. Yeah. I should have those in stock. Got uh, quarters from the 40s, 50s, 60s. Huge, huge range of, of years available. Yeah, it looks like I've got 147. All right, we'll do the walking liberty because it is a little slow. So let me find that real quick. I was just, I was waiting for you to pop in. I'm glad you showed up. Now, if you guys don't know, Mr. Rush has really pushed my boundaries the past two weeks. And he wants me to uh, 1958. I've got one of those as well. Uh, the 90% silver quarter rings are $100. So he wants me to make this into a ring using my smallest center punch. So it's going to be uh, pretty tricky. We're going to give it a shot. Uh, chances are it probably won't go very well. <laughs> but we're going to try. All right, no worries. Let's find that punch. You said you want quarter inch punch. Itty bitty little hole. Cause he wants the band to be really nice and thick. We're gonna give it a try. making this coin into a ring. Is it possible to have a four millimeter or six millimeter band with any size? Uh, the thickness of the band really depends on the size of the coin. So for uh, like a normal quarter, get my calipers. The average quarter coin ring is right at about five and a half. So that's that's pretty close to what you're looking for. Uh, copper quarter coin rings are $20. 90% silver ones are 100 I can also do half dollars and uh, silver rounds, which is what we're working on right now. This right here is a fine silver uh, quarter ounce round. 
Well, you better look away, man. Yeah, if you guys want to see my prices, uh, you can check out the link in my profile or the one I pinned down here. I make a bunch of different stuff, so my prices range. So you're bound to find something you can, you'll like and, and you can afford. Yeah, these are $100, the quarter ounce ones. Well, this is actually the last one of these I have on hand. Um, I do have some more on the way. But there's other round designs that you can get. So just go check out the website. Take a look at some of the product photos. Uh, and you can get an idea of what's available there. This tiny, itty-bitty center punch. through the middle of our coin looks pretty good now we're just going to clean up this edge right here it's a little jagged a little sharp we're going to use uh, the burn tool and just cut away some of that if y'all wouldn't mind tapping the screen i sure would appreciate it we're sitting at 2500 likes on this live Let's see if we can get to 3k well you know 3000 likes let's set a goal Let's give it a shot. See if you guys are up to it. Yeah, and he wants it to be like a size 10 too. So we're gonna have to do a lot of annealing and stretching and just being really careful to get this to bend and fold. Luckily it is fine silver. So that is the softest metal I work with, so. If I, if I do a good job, I think it might come out okay. The most accurate way to get your ring size is to visit a jewelry store and get size there. Um, pretty much any way to measure your ring size at home is going to give you an inaccurate measurement. Measurement, excuse me. Um, I've, I've dealt with hundreds of people trying to get their ring sized, and doing it at home is just not the way to go. You want to go to a professional who knows how to size you. Uh, it should be fast, free, and accurate. Unfortunately, you need to go to like a jewelry store to do that. What do I do? Go to the bank and buy silver coins from them? Uh, most of the silver coins I get are from eBay or directly from mints, like Golden State Mint or the U.S. Mint. Or eBay banks don't really have just silver coins i don't know maybe they do not mine thank you if anybody else has any questions feel free to ask i am just going to kind of hyper focus and lock in on this one because it's it's pushing my boundaries a little bit usually i have about a half inch uh, punch. So this, is, <laughs> this is three quarters of an inch punch less than I usually do. Yeah, Walmart should be able to size you. That's true. First fold, and I'm going to pay very close attention to what happens here. It's folding really nice, but it was a little uneven. Let's straighten that back out. It's drifting. I don't blame it. There we go. Hello! Y'all go ahead and share the live, tap the screen, follow me, check out the website. 
ask any questions, let me know I'm doing a good job, just say hello, whatever, whatever, you know, sit back, chill, <clears throat> hang out, watch me make this, that's all cool, it's like a nice little cone shape, I'm gonna go ahead and heat it up again, Proper die. Core rings, you said were. Yeah, about five and a half millimeters. That is correct. That's still a little too small. Actually, I heat to soften the metal. So that we can fold it. That won't work. That won't work. How do you? Uh, the website is linked on my profile. It's also my username, and uh, you can also get there by tapping this thing right here, which I'm going to pin for you. Here's our coin so far. And I really don't want to push this through this die, so I'm going to have to be delicate. Nice how that balanced. Getting there slowly but surely. this time <laughs> all right almost to 5,000 likes on this live thank you guys very much check out the store coinringmaker.com or buycoinrings.com at this point we're really starting to widen out our our cut hole here so we're gonna want to kneel one more time and then sand that up and make it nice and smooth so it doesn't split. So far, so good, though. right here this is our cut edge and we want to make sure this is as smooth as possible that's where we're going to run into problems i like to use nail file blocks because they're easy to hold and they have different grades of sandpaper on there already they're relatively cheap and uh, they don't get tore up like sandpaper does i don't have a real problem with just plain old sandpaper i always end up tearing it up so these are a lot nicer for me Oh, that's right. <laughs> the gold chain will take you to the store as well. Yeah. Or this pin link right here. Bam, we'll make it pop up again. You'll check out the store. Support the channel. Support my small business. Get you something cool. Handmade coin jewelry here in the United States. Yeah. Check it out.
I've had over a thousand happy customers and I'd love for you to become one. Yep, I'm going to kneel it again. I'm playing it safe. So I don't have a backup coin. So if I ruin this, it's done. It's toast. So we're going to do this right. Keep this metal soft the whole time. Y'all wish me luck. this will even fit on the ring stretcher thank you thank you thank you and go ahead and sand it again as we're folding it at this point why is the hole so small um so a customer has ordered i think three or four of these quarter ounce walking liberty rings from me and he really liked the first one but he wanted the band a little bit thicker so i made a smaller hole and uh, now he's pushed me all the way down to my smallest punch, which is a quarter inch. He kind of challenged me to see how thick of a band I can get with a quarter ounce silver round. So this is kind of pushing my boundaries. Hopefully I don't mess it up. Well, thank you very much. I, I really try. Oh, <laughs> to knock my phone stand all over the place. No, I really try to make um, t nice stuff for you guys. So I'm glad you like them. So I sure like working on them. And I couldn't do it without you. Without you guys supporting me, supporting my little small business, I, I really do appreciate it. I think we got this good and folded. Um, so I did like a group order from the mint that, that makes these with a couple buddies of mine. And he got them today. So they will be probably mailed out to me today. Uh, probably a couple more days. Probably by Friday is my guess. But you know how the mail is. They're on the way. Thanks, Gary. very interesting shape it's kind of like i don't know usually it's very cone shaped but this one's got a kind of like a roundness to it which is interesting and i don't see any split starting so that's good yeah they're on the way Still a really tiny hole, but maybe when we stretch it out, it'll start evening out. One side is thin. I don't know. It it just folded a little funky. There's a lot of a lot more metal, and like this side has to move way more than this side does. So it it looks a little wobbly at the moment, but we'll straighten it out. That's what she said. Hey, got jokes. Okay, so it does fit. That's good. Will it fit with a paper towel? I 
It doesn't want to. I have to use a little less towel. Less towel. More towel. Okay. Okay. I can feel it already work hardening. A good thick band though. Getting this up to a size 10 is going to be interesting. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. For anyone who's just joined in, I'm Coin Ring Maker. I make coins into rings. If that sounds interesting. Check out my website, it's linked on my profile. Next thing you do is a heavy workbench. I mean, this workbench is, it's pretty decent. It's not bad, it's just cluttered up. And we got it for 25 bucks. I can't beat that. I'm sure the wood's worth more. And I paid for it. I started out with just like a normal desk, which is over here, and bolted everything down, see drawers and stuff, and then my wife found me this, and it's, it's sick, I don't know, it's hard to see up close, but trust me, it's, it's a sick workbench. It's a good looking band. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna heat it up again. And just for good measure, we will sand that cut edge a little more. Take a real close look at it. Still looking pretty clean. Those micro cracks are sneaky. The ring on my thumb, this is a Celtic knot design. I got it at Knott's Berry Farms like 12 years ago. Thank you very much. How long have I been making rings? Probably about two and a half years. Getting close to three. So that good old pandemic made a, made a lot of people start new hobbies. And <laughs> this is the one I picked up. Kind of ran with it. looking really good it's probably about a size four right now let's double check and see oh no this is a seven and a half so 
I don't have to stretch it as far as I thought I would. How do I make a ring that's too big smaller? So there's things called reduction dies. They look like this. I really like 17 degree reduction dies. But basically what you do is you would take your ring and place it inside here. And since this is kind of cone shaped, as you apply pressure to the top of it, it pushes the ring inward and makes it smaller. I think there's another. What got me into it? I saw one YouTube video of a guy make a quarter into a ring. And I was like, oh, that looks pretty neat. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a try. And uh, I became addicted to it. I'm not going to lie. I became obsessed. And now I do it pretty much every day. So if I'd never watched that YouTube video, my whole life would be completely different. It's pretty wild. If you haven't yet, make sure to give me a follow, tap the screen, and check out the website. You can use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10% off anything you order. It's my little thank you for watching me do some work here on TikTok. Interacting with the video. Ooh, okay, that's starting to feel weird. So we're going to chill out. Take a second. Hello, hello. You got it just past a size nine. So we got a little bit more stretching to do. Can y'all believe this was a quarter inch punch? Right here, this was a quarter inch when I started. What if it's a ring with artwork going around it and you don't want to ruin it? Uh, so that's one reason I'm using blue paper towel is to keep the inside detail really nice and crisp. You want to, uh, like, not have any metal-on-metal metal contact when you're doing this. So, for the outside of the ring, I use Teflon tape or uh, plumber's tape. And for the inside of the ring, I use blue shot paper towel to protect those details. I really try and keep as much detail on the ring as I can. Paper towel's giving me a hard time, though. It's just tearing. My gosh dang John Bear hat is gonna make my day. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna get some, some different paper towel. Not too much. So when I first started, I didn't have anything between the ring and the stretcher, and that would kind of mash the details, kind of squish them. But this actually helps way more than you would think. <laughs> if I can't get it to work. There we go. Yeah, so like, for example, this one's finished. It's got really 
clean detail on the outside, clean detail on the inside. Really, really pretty stuff. Uh, I have a recommended tool list on my website, which is the same as my username, corneringmaker.com. So if you go to that website, uh, right at the top, there's a button that says recommended tool list. Uh, you can you can see all the tools I use, uh, where I get them, and how I use them. There's like little videos for each one. Because actually when I started, it was, it was really tricky to figure out what kind of tools to use and get. So I figured I'd, I'd put together a little little chunk on the internet to explain that. It was just tapping the edge while rotating the quarter. That's how I started. With like a hammer and a mandrel. Bro, you know how it was like, there's this, it's okay. You know how I told you a month ago that there was this crawfish festival happening in Amarillo and if you wanted to go out and get your tickets? Okay. There was a shooting last night there. Oh. One, like five dead, one injured. Okay. Crazy. Glad we didn't go. Yeah. Staying Glad safe. I have my own crawfish farm. That's right. It's my wife, guys. She's a character. But yeah, real nice detail on there still. And we stretch this a little past a size 10 because it's a little uneven. It's always going to be a little uneven. This reeded edge is always going to be a little wider than the cut edge just because of the shape of the ring stretcher. So we're gonna use our reduction die here to take it back down to a size 10 and kind of even up that shape, make it nice and straight wall. Don't wanna to do too much too fast. That honestly looks really nice. Check our size. If I remember right, Mr. Watch wants this just below a size 10. Is there a right way to wear a ring reeded edge? Um, usually, I wear the reeded edge like this um, towards my hand, but on some designs, like like this one the text is in such a way where the reeded edge uh, faces downward but it, it really doesn't matter you can wear it either way it's up to you How much for one? Uh, the quarter ounce fine silver round rings are a hundred dollars. <throat> Half ounce are one hundred and fifty. Uh, copper quarters are twenty. Ninety percent silver quarters are a hundred. Ninety percent silver half dollars are one hundred and fifty. Ninety percent silver. Uh, Morgan and Peace dollars are 200 and one ounce fine silver round rings are 300 So there's lots to choose from. I have a walking liberty ring, but it turns my finger black. Any suggestions? That's 90% silver, so it is 10% copper. Usually people don't have too much problem with walking liberty. Um rings but if you are having a reaction to it i would recommend putting clear fingernail polish on the inside and you may need to reapply it as you wear it like after a week or two but that seems to prevent that green or black finger the best i 
I buy a quarter twenty dollar one? Yeah. Um, my website is linked on my profile. I'll also pin it right here. There's lots of different types of quarters to pick from, state quarters, specific years, um, lot, lots of cool stuff. So yeah, go check out the website. Um, also, the 2020 quarters are on sale for $10. If you guys are in like a pinch, you want to get a ring, but you, you want to save a little money while you're at it. You can also use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10% off your order. Man, that looks good. Got these dang comments in the way. There we go. Yeah, no problem. If anybody else has any questions, feel free to ask. Now we're gonna polish this up a little bit. Look, you can even see the face. Look at the detail. That's incredible. Quarter inch punch on this quarter ounce silver round. Super thick band. Yeah, that came out fantastic. I didn't break it. Clean, clean cut edge. A lot of annealing, but I think it was worth it. I'll just kind of polish this up a little bit. Fine silver doesn't get a whole lot of fire skill on there. It gets kind of this yellowish tone to it, but you rub that off and that silver comes right back. Four more of them. <laughs> ones to go. Well, this is actually the last one of these I had on hand. Mr. Rush done sold me out of my fine silver walking liberties. So, <laughs> he really liked them. <laughs> I like them too. Like, don't get me wrong. It's a good looking ring. But he went in hard. Well, if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. If you haven't checked out the website yet, go ahead and take a minute to do that. We're just going to shine this up real nice here. And I need to get some more of these polishing cloths. I do have, like, um, Walking Liberty Half Dollars and American Eagles, which are basically the same design as this, just much larger coins. Let me actually see if this is as thick as a half dollar. It's thicker. You got me making stuff thicker than a half dollar out of a quarter ounce, man. That's wild. Pretty. I mostly work on uh, what is peak polish. No, I'll have to look into that. I've never heard of that before. I do use uh, rouge occasionally, but most of the time I just use steel wool and these polishing cloths, and they, they do the job. Some rings get dirtier than others. Yeah, it's up to a size. Well, it's actually a nine and three quarters. three quarters right there. Size 10 is hiding underneath it. Let's go get a real close look at it. Mr. Rush, you're free to order this <laughs> whenever you want. It's done. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, that looks good. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you haven't yet, check out the website. Lots of cool stuff on there. Uh, also, make sure to give me a follow. 
Uh, I'm going to hop off of here and pack up some orders. But if I do get some orders coming in, I'll hop back on live and make them. Y'all have a great day, and we'll catch you later.